lot of the products that I recommend are Korean skincare products because they are amazing, 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 but I know that they can be a little bit tricky to find. So I wanted to share some of the sites that I use and love to get all of my Korean skincare here in the US. As a general rule of thumb, I typically do not order Korean skincare products off Amazon because I'm worried that I might get a counterfeit product and don't want to put it on my skin. I also don't love to support huge multinational corporations that exploit vulnerable workers, damage the environment, and evade taxes, but that's a conversation for another time. Up first is 0035mm. This is one of my absolute favorite places. They have really small indie niche Korean brands that I love that are super hard to find, but they're also a small local business in New York and we love to support them. Next and arguably biggest is Soko Glam. They have tons of products, super reliable, fast shipping. They have a rewards and like membership option. Great, great, great site. And another great choice is Olali. They also have a lot of indie brands. It's women owned and we love, love, love their so after my post on SPF, I got a bunch of requests to share my personal favorite sunscreens, and I have a couple that are super lightweight, won't clog your pores, won't leave a white cast, and they're both less than $20. So let's talk sunscreens. So my personal favorite holy grail sunscreen is the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50. This sunscreen is literally amazing. It has 100% physical filters, which I prefer because of the potential health risks of chemical ones, but it does not feel like a physical sunscreen. Super lightweight, not chalky, doesn't leave any white cast, doesn't clog my pores. I'm seriously obsessed with this sunscreen and it has such clean ingredients. I love it. But if you prefer chemical filters, amazingly, Purito also has a super similar formula, but with chemical filters, the Centella Green Level Safe Sun. Also amazing, super lightweight, doesn't clog my pores, doesn't feel greasy. It has a nice light scent. Oh, you seriously cannot. Want to add a chemical exfoliant to your routine, but not quite sure which one to use? Let's talk about my favorites. So the first one I'm gonna recommend is the most expensive, but it is also the best, and that is the SkinCeuticals Blemish and Age Defense. This is one of the best products I have ever used in my life. It has salicylic acid, dioic acid, glycolic acid, and citric acid. It stops my acne in its tracks, so effective, leaves my skin so clear, so glowy. I am obsessed with this serum. For something that's a little bit less expensive, but also super effective, the Sun By Me AHA, BHA, PHA 30 Day Miracle Serum is amazing. It has AHAs, BHAs, and PHAs, obviously. Super effective, but it also has Centella Asiatica and Tea Tree Leaf to really soothe the skin and alleviate redness. It's a great product. And in this house, we love Paula's Choice. So also the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant, one of the best salicylic acid products on the market. It's amazing and really will work wonders. Curious why rosehip oil is such a popular ingredient in skincare or thinking about adding it to your routine? Well, I think you should. Let's talk about why. Rosehip oil is a great natural source of fatty acids that support your skin's natural moisture barrier. Supporting your skin's barrier is a great way to even out your overall tone and texture, to boost your radiance and your glow, fade the appearance of acne scars, and strengthen your barrier to fight against breakouts and other future skin concerns. My personal favorite rosehip oil that I use and love is the PAI Rosehip Bio Regenerate Oil. I love this oil. It absorbs into my skin really quickly and I see and feel amazing results. Another really amazing option is the Trilogy Certified Organic Rosehip Oil. This one is really simple, really pure, really high grade, and is an, an awesome choice if you've never used rosehip oil before. And if you're on a budget, you're in luck. You can grab the Ordinary's 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil. It's at a great price point and still really, really pure. So as a follow-up to my last post, let's talk about some good, clean, lightweight, and pretty affordable eye creams that you can use. So the first one that I always recommend to people is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. This ingredients list is so clean and it's packed with fermented ingredients, which means that they're especially rich in vitamins and minerals, super hydrating, super lightweight, and is squeeze tube, so it's really sanitary. I love this eye cream. Another great option, especially for sensitive skin, is the Trilogy Very Gentle Eye Cream. This eye cream is oil-based and its ingredients list is super clean and super gentle, so it's wonderful for sensitive skin types. 
And if you're really looking on the budget side, the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream has a pretty clean ingredients list. It's a solid product and it's really affordable. You can grab it at Sephora. And if you don't feel like you have the time or the money to invest in an eye cream right now, that's okay. Check your face moisturizer and as long as it's gentle and hydrating and doesn't have any harsh ingredients, you can put a little on your ring finger and give a little extra love to your eye. Wanna add a cleansing oil to your skincare routine but not quite sure which one to use? Let's talk about my favorites. Okay, so my personal favorite cleansing oil that I use every single night is the Manuo Factory Pure Cleansing Oil. This is a super clean formula. It has wonderful ingredients, removes every last bit of makeup and leaves my skin really clean. Amazing scent, amazing texture, leaves my skin feeling so soft and so smooth and doesn't give me any breakouts at all. Another great super clean formula is the Ionic Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil. This is truly one of the cleanest cleansing oil formulas I've ever seen. Its ingredients are really gentle, really pure, and it's great for any skin type. And then of course, there's the cult JBD favorite, the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. This one is especially good at removing makeup. It's really great, really clean ingredients list. It has vitamin E, so I don't highly recommend it for acne prone skin, but for all other skin types, it is an amazing. Let's talk about some cleansers that I love for keeping my dry, sensitive, and acne prone skin clear, clean, and happy. Just for context, these are always the second step in my double cleansing routine, and I always start with an oil cleanser first. My go-to daily cleanser is the Troyaroke Axen Oil Cut Cleansing. It's one of my favorite cleansers, super gentle and doesn't foam, leaves my skin soft and hydrated and clear from breakouts. To target my acne, I love the SkinCeuticals LHA Cleanser Gel. I use this every other night and it is one of the best acne cleansers I've ever used. LHA is a more gentle derivative of salicylic acid and it works wonders on my acne. If I'm in the mood for a foaming cleanser, one of my favorites is the Neogen Real Fresh Foam Green Tea. This is such a good cleanser and keeps my skin so clear and so soft. And if you're looking for a really affordable option, the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser is a great choice. It's a solid product with a good ingredients list and it's at a really affordable price. Let's talk about some products that I love for treating and healing acne scarring. When I think about treating acne scars, I like to think of it in three key goals. First is exfoliating my skin to bring forth new, healthier skin. Second is hydrating that new skin so that it stays healthy and strong. And third is working on any sort of discoloration or uneven skin tone. For exfoliating my skin, I love the SkinCeuticals Blemish and Age Defense. It's the best chemical exfoliant I've ever used. The salicylic acid and dioic acid really, really, really exfoliate the skin well. And the glycolic and citric acid help to bring back that glow and radiance that can sometimes be lost to acne scarring. For hydrating and strengthening that new skin that's coming through after exfoliating, I highly recommend Snail Mucin. And my favorite Snail Mucin product is the Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Serum. It's an amazing, amazing product to hydrate, strengthen, and nourish the new skin. And for treating uneven skin tone and discoloration, I love niacinamide, and I love the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1%. Let's talk about the products that I love for hydrating my acne-prone, dry, and sensitive skin. Finding hydrating products as a person with acne prone skin can be really hard because I need them to be super hydrating, but I also need them to be lightweight and I need to trust that they won't clog my pores or cause me breakouts. These are some of the ones that I really love and trust. The first product that I wanna share with you guys is the Skin Food Royal Honey Propolis in Rich Essence. This is one of the best skincare products I've ever used in my life. It's so hydrating and restorative because of its high concentration of propolis, but it's extremely lightweight and it doesn't clog my pores or cause breakouts. This literally transformed my skin. I also love and swear by the SkinCeuticals Hydrating B5 Gel. It's so lightweight, but so hydrating. It feels like a glass of water for my skin. I'm also totally obsessed with the Cosrx Centella Aqua Soothing Ampoule. Not only is it extremely lightweight and hydrating, but it also has Centella Asiatica and Allantoin to soothe my sensitive skin. Let's talk about my favorite sheet masks for my acne-prone, sensitive, dry skin. Okay, so my personal all-time favorite sheet mask is the Benton Snail Bee High Content Mask Pack. If you can't tell, I'm a huge fan of the Benton Snail Bee line and the mask is no exception. It's so good, so lightweight, so hydrating, obsessed with it. Another one of my all-time favorites, especially for helping with acne, is the Abib Mild Acidic pH Sheet Mask with Heartleaf. Heartleaf is so good for treating blemish-prone skin and this sheet mask is amazing. And the actual consistency of the mask and how it sticks to your skin is next level. Another one of my absolute favorites is the Innisfree My Real Squeeze Mask with Manuka Honey. It's so good, so hydrating. Obviously, honey has some antibacterial properties, and it's just really soothing and helps keep my skin really smooth and really glowy. 
These are all South Korean because the South Korean sheet masks are just literally the best that you can get. I have a video up with a bunch of different websites where you can buy them because I don't have time in this video to explain. But if you buy them, I hope you love Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and address the number one question that I got on my last video, which is what are the products that I recommend you use instead of the ones that I recommend that you ditch? So let's jump into it. So we know now that you should not use makeup oil. I recommend instead that you use a really good oil cleanser. Not only are they way gentler on your skin, but they are way more effective, faster, and will leave your skin so soft and smooth. We also now know that you shouldn't use toners with harsh and astringent ingredients like denatured alcohol and witch hazel. Instead, you should use good, clean toners that will actually hydrate and balance your skin. And no more face scrubs. This may have helped some of you with acne and texture, but that's because of the salicylic acid, not because it's a scrub. There are plenty of great cleansers out there that have salicylic acid that will work even better to control acne and texture, but they're not going to be anywhere near as harsh as a scrub. And we now know that nose strips are a huge no-no. Instead, you should use a really good chemical exfoliant. You can concentrate it more around your nose if you need. It'll be way more effective and actually... Curious about chemical exfoliation? I'm gonna break it down for you in one take. Chemical exfoliants can generally be divided into three key categories, BHAs, AHAs, and PHAs. One of the key differences between these different types of exfoliating acids is their molecular size. BHAs having the smallest molecular size and PHAs having the largest. The reason that this matters is that the smaller the molecular size, the deeper and faster into your skin the acid is going to absorb. BHAs, the most common type, is salicylic acid. It's tiny and it's oil-soluble, gets deep into the pores, and is great for oily and acne-prone skin. For AHAs, the most common type is glycolic acid, which is amazing for glow and radiance. For PHAs, one of the most common types is lactobionic acid. PHAs stay closer to the surface because they have a big molecular size and they're humectants that attract moisture. So PHAs are... 